In this video, we're going to work through some quick examples to determine if these statements are true or false. So in this first statement, we have, we'll call it P, and it says it's a closed statement, right? It makes a statement that we can determine to be true or false. It says that sum of two positives is a negative. Well, let's say we take 2 plus 3. This is, a, this is two different positives. We're just picking them out. We add them up and we still get positive 5. Well, since we found one hole to this general statement, this is now a false statement. So we know this is false. In this second statement, it says the sum of two positives is not a negative. So even without thinking about it, we can just say, oh, it's the negation of P. It's the exact same as the first statement, except we've negated it to say it's not a negative. So this must be true. right? That's the definition of a negation. It takes a false statement and makes it true. And as an example, we could say, well, 2 plus 4 is 6. And that's not a negative, it's positive. So it seems to work. Here we have a conjunction, right? That's an end statement. And let's look at what it says. 3 plus 4 equals 7, and 15 is a prime number. Well, 3 plus 4 is 7. That's true. This is true. And, well, 15 is a prime number, and that's false. So this is a false statement. And again, the, the idea is that a conjunction can only be true when both parts of the conjunction are true. This is saying that in this statement, this and this is true. So overall, as a conjunction, it can only be true when everything inside of it is true, not when one of the parts is false. Here we have a disjunction. Different idea here. It says that rectangles have six sides, which they don't. It's a, it's a false statement. Or, that's the disjunction. Hexagons have six sides, which they do. That's a false or a true statement. So mathematically, the disjunction says that one or the other or both are true, right? Either or, right? At least one of them is true, and this is a true statement. So again, with disjunctions, just keep track. The only time a disjunction is, is false is when neither statement is true. The only time a conjunction is true is when both statements are true. All right.